mes chers deviennent molles, je me désole et je m'étiole, la scène ne charrie pas l'alcool. Plaignez, plaignez, tous les noyés, assassinés, plaignez. Gil, through the door. Say, where's Shep? Out someplace. You two haven't had a quarrel or anything, have you? No, not a quarrel. Just a visitor. Thank you, Nikki. Say, what's this? My, somebody's been careless. No one has been careless. It's a pity it got broken, though. Something like this would come in so handy at a time like this. Don't tell me Chef broke it. You know perfectly well who did it. And yes, you, but was it in reform or anger? Not just because Chef walked out on you. You've seen him. Where? Ah, uh, since. He came straight down from you. Oh, it's no good you're calling him. He isn't there now. Where is he? That, my dear, I'm afraid I can't tell you. He's not with Merle. He's not thinking of Merle, is he? No, but I think he thinks he ought to be. After all, maybe he's still in love with her underneath. I think I haven't thought of that. I was sitting here battling with the temptation of taking the spell off. And that's when I broke the stupid mask. But if I left things the way they are right now, he'd still love me. And loathe me for it. Yes, well, I don't think it was very smart of you to tell him all about the spell. Don't you remember what it always says on the back of love potions? Shake well and don't tell. This is what happens to you. You think you're getting away with something, and you forfeit almost everything. You wind up in a little world of separateness away from everyone. That's what I found out. And who's that? It can't be Shep. He's got a key. Shep? Nikki, I'd like to talk to Gillian alone. Uh, will you clear out? It'll only take a few minutes. Ah, uh, sure. I'll just get some cigarettes around the corner. I've been to Mrs. DePoss. Oh no, what for? For a hair of the dog that bit me. After listening to Redlich and to Nikki, I thought there just might be a shred of truth in all this stuff of yours. So I decided to go for a fling of the full treatment. I heard a lot about this DePoss dame from all of you, so I had Redlich bring me up there. Not to get her to take the spell off. Oh no. Well, what the hell else? <clears throat> and did she? Shep, did she? Sure, she did, for whatever it's worth. How? With a whole lot of hocus pocus and a very dirty old pouch. But one I can see it's a lot more complicated to take a spell off than to put one on. Well, I'm sure it would be for her. How do you feel now? I don't feel anything except goddamn mad. At me? At the whole business. And at myself for getting wrapped up in it. 
having to go up there hat in hand to that crummy old joint, saying yes ma'am and no ma'am to that old bag. It's stomach turning and humiliating. I know, I know, don't tell me anymore. Not to mention being out of a lot of dough into the bargain. How much did she charge you? Plenty. How much? I'm not getting into it, any of it. The only reason I came here was because she said that the thing wouldn't be complete until I'd seen you and told you. Who am I supposed to make that a condition? Yes, well, now that I have, I can get out of here. And by the way, she's fixed it so you can't undo this one. And just how did she do that? Well, how would I know? She pretended it was something she added to that disgusting mess she made me drink. I've never heard such rubbish in all my life. To think that she could stop me. Oh, oh, I will let you go. You're damn right you will. But don't think this is a decision due to anything she did. We're not getting into it, any of it. I've said what I've got to say. What about girls? What about her? Well, are you going back to her? I mean, if she'll have you. Right now, all I'm going to do is get some stiff drinks under my belt and try to knock myself out. Or get the whole business if I can. I'll say goodnight. You mean goodbye? Yes, I mean goodbye. But I'll, I'll, ne I'll never see you again. I wouldn't know what for. All through. Well, what cooks? You knew where he was. Yes, dear. And I assume it was your right idea? No, it was his. It was all his. He got Sid to call her up. Just revolting. Him getting mixed up in all this. I'm going to see her. He's too good for this. Uh, now, wait a minute. He is. Cheapening to him. Him straddling about in the gutters of the supernatural with, with Mrs. DePass. Well, are you going to let her get away with it? Oh, come on back to us where you belong. Come to Natalie's party with me. Bianca? Uh, Mr. DePass. 
Well, when I when I heard when I when I heard that, the Mets had always been rivals, so to speak. We've never been rivals. That third-rate, vulgar, self-advertising, made-up or a soul. And now hold on. She is the best in the business. It's people like her that make me wish we had the Inquisition back. You know what she did? She had him come here and tell me what she'd done. Told him it was part of it all. Well, maybe it is, dear. Not for anyone who knows their business, it's not. She can't be as bad in her craft as all that. No, 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 that was just a crow over me. No, I don't know anything about that side of it, Miss Holroyd. But I know you're no slouch yourself when it comes to revenge and that sort of thing. And well, I, I don't want you taking it out on me. It was Ship's idea, the whole thing. All I did was take him there. Now you're afraid of the consequences. Well, only from you. But, 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 I mean, Why don't you ask Mrs. DePaz to protect you if you think so highly of her? I'm sure she wouldn't think a little thing like rendering me impotent beyond her powers. Or might you go to the local minister and have me exorcised with bell, book, and candle? Now, 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 now listen, Miss Holroyd, don't, don't, don't get mad. I didn't do anything except what I was asked to do. Oh, suppose you were asked to commit a murder or introduce someone to a murderer who might do the job for... Does Mrs. DePass charge for a little chore like this? Well, she varies her prices, dear, according to people's means. She asked me about Shep, and I... What did you tell her? Well, I told her I thought he was quite well off. Uh, you see, I had seen his bank book and letters from his banker, and uh, I... How much did that set him back? She said she was going to charge $5,000. What? Well, but uh, she did point out that supposing you and he had been married, it would have cost him a whole lot more than that to get divorced. Another pretty comparison. Oh, look, Miss Holroyd, I don't mean to intrude on you in, in your hour of grief, but look, put yourself in my place. I'd rather not, Mr. Rednich. But don't worry. I won't do anything to you. Oh. Oh, 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 gee, that, that, that swelling in the ball, right? Thank you, thank you. Oh, and there's uh, one other thing uh, about the book. Nikki said you kind of put a stopper on that. Yes, yes, I did. Well, don't you think, you know, now that Shep's not, well, don't you think maybe you could kind of release it? Oh, well, I mean now, naturally, but... But, you know, maybe sometime when you've got nothing else on your mind, and if you could just flip that off. Mr. Redlich, don't you think you better steer clear of such a thing? I don't think you have the temperament for it. Or the nerve, apparently. Well, I, I, I guess you're right. I, I only meant that... Mr. You... Redlich, go away! Sure, sure. And, and thank you very much anyway. Goodbye. Try and talk Gillian around about the book. Oh, yeah, sure. But, but don't upset her. It's not worth it. <laughs>